Today at Mobile Tech Lab, this customer came in with an Asus VivoBook 15 with a loud fan. It basically sounded like a sleep apnea patient was trapped inside his laptop at all times, whether he was using it for heavy duty work or not at all. If you have the same problem with the loud fan noise, or you think there's something else pre preventing your VivoBook from cooling properly, don't worry. This, this is a common issue and easily resolvable. Our technician Daniel will walk you through the process of fully cleaning the device, as well as reapplying the thermal paste to ensure it can continue to operate correctly. If you have an Asus VivoBook 15, or any other similar issues, feel free to contact us or comment below, we'd love to help. In this video, we'll see how to clean the heatsink of a laptop and to remove dust. We start by removing the screws. We have to know where we're putting or where we're getting the screws from, so we get different length screws aligned back where they go. Uh, if you put back the wrong length, you can damage the motherboard or other components. Uh, first, I remove the heatsink, then I remove the fan. Now, the fan um, might be removable before removing the heatsink, but I plan to replace the thermal paste, which if you take off the heatsink, you have to replace the thermal paste, you can't reuse the old one. So here I'm taking off the thermal paste, I make sure to get all of it. Um, I don't want it anywhere else on the motherboard because it is conductive, and I also don't want any of the old thermal paste um, while I'm putting on the new one. Uh, you want it to be one continuous blob when you reinstall new thermal paste. Next, I go in to clean the fan. I'm using a brush. I'll also use an air duster and an electronic circuit cleaner as well as some alcohol just to make sure I get um, the motor uh, uh, kind of lubricated again and also get all the dust out from the fan. Now, I see on the keyboard it's really dirty which lets me know there's probably dust trapped under the keyboard that will make its way back into the circuit area. So I, I use my air duster to kind of get as much dust out of the keyboard and then I use an electronic uh, circuit cleaner as well as 99% isopropyl alcohol to wipe the keyboard um, and, and then later actually I use some glass cleaner which is what got all the really tough and kicked on dirt completely off the screen and the keyboard. Um, now that I've cleaned the demo paste, I've cleaned all the dust, I've cleaned the fan, I put back the fan and once it's secure, the last thing to put back on is the demo paste. You notice that I put the demo paste a blob for each chip and then I'm going to pull down the heatsink. Now once I put it down, I can't move it or else I have to reinstall the demo paste. So I make sure I put it down precisely and then I reconnect the fan. Uh, screwed, I've screwed down the fan and I've screwed down the heatsink and then I reconnect the battery which was the first thing I removed you always have to remove the battery first before working on a laptop now that all that is put back I can put back the back cover and then I'll go ahead and put in all the screws in the order I got them out making sure I'm respecting the right length for the right area and that's it I now clean the outside of the laptop with some isopropyl alcohol uh, not only to uh, shine but also to disinfect and this repair uh, this computer is clean uh, no longer runs noisily all the debris that was trapped in the fan is gone